Being an athlete is multifaced. The tools that you can learn today around being a great athlete will lead into your career, will lead into your personal life, your relationships. Developing an athlete mindset helped, certainly helped heal, my, heal mine. I'm going to share a little bit about my story. It can be extrapolated into all of your areas of your life. It's not just about why we are here to, do, to be a great athlete or to be a great coach or to be a great business person. The intention is so important, and I'm going to talk about why that is so important. Our intention shapes our experience. So when we do goal setting with ourselves, with clients, we often ask why. And why is important, but it's also the how and the what. But when we think about why, right, it's quite emotive. And the reason intention is so important is because it will shape the way you experience the process as well, your habits that are a part of that. Okay, so an athlete's mindset, it helped me develop a healthy relationship with tools that I used that used to be destructive. I'm going to show the next slide. I started there. I don't even know how to use this. There we go. That's, where, that's how it started. I mean, these are the extreme ends, right? That's me two weeks out from a show, and that was me a week out from hospi being hospitalised. Now, why intention is, perfect, is important is because both these people track their nutrition. Both these people went to the gym. Both of these people used progressive overload. <laughs> But the intention behind why they did those things was very different. Person on the, where are we, left, my intention was self-destructive. It was to be as small as I could. I remember feeling I just wanted to be invisible, left alone. And it was just, I look at the person there and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe that was me. But my god, was she disciplined. <laughs> and I looked and I, I'm actually so grateful for her because she showed me how fucking powerful my mindset was. And something that I want you to get out of, this, out of today's speech is just to remind you of how powerful you are. Like how important the choices that you make. Because I wasn't there by chance, I was there by choice. In the same way, I was there by choice. But the intention behind the choices drove everything, how we experience ourselves. If your intention is to be better, is to grow, is to evolve, is to be the greatest version of you, then how would you set yourself up for that? You know, something people always say is, I want to be the greatest version of me. Do you even know who the greatest version of you is? Does someone, like, can someone put their hand up and be like, yeah, I fucking know? Who, who here says, I want to be the greatest version of me? Has anyone said it? Yeah, we all say it. I said it. In fact, <laughs> the girl on the... Where is she? Oh, no, wrong one. How do we go back? Yeah. The girl on the left, I actually remember the catalyst for that was... I remember thinking... So a friend of mine died in a freak accident, and I was, it was my first experience of death. And I remember thinking... Oh my God, life can be taken away from you so quickly. I'm going to change everything I don't like about myself. And now I didn't actually realize there was a lot of things I didn't like about myself because that, that list got long. And my intention actually was to be better. Like I, I was really naughty in school and I regret that immensely. Um, but I stopped hanging out with my friends, I sat at the front of the class, I did all my study, I started going to the gym again, and everything became like quite controlling. And I remember, this is where I think my fear of public speaking comes from, I remember getting ready for an English speech, and I worked really hard for it, and I failed. And I remember thinking to myself, no matter what you do, you're not good enough. And I still have that not good enough, that whispers in my ears sometimes. But what death has taught me, this might, this might seem a bit morbid, but I hope it's not, is that when you die, you don't even have a chance to have fear. You don't even get that chance. As I was driving here today, shaking like, oh my fucking God. 
My voice, my vo a voice came over and said, well, when you're dead, you don't even have this opportunity, so look at it as an opportunity. This is the work. And it just showed me so many different ways of looking at life. To the point where now, like, I promised myself I would never let fear be the decision maker. Most of us fear what other people think about us more than actually failing. Yes, like that is the truth. But there's going to be a period or a time where you don't even get to have that opportunity. And as Lane said so beautifully, everything on, is on the other side of fear. Everything that we want in life is on the other side of hard work. So when we look at the intention of what, we, what the outcome that we want, what outcome we want, who do we want to be in life, and what is the intention of it, that will ultimately help you shape the process that you use. Right? Are you going to be realistic with your time frame? What kind of people or environment are you going to surround yourself with? Okay? Are you going to have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset? I have a saying, we're not limited by our resources, we're limited by the ceiling of our self-belief, and this is so true.